a trend that's seen across popular science fiction movies and numerous depictions of extraterrestrials that have the ability to telepathically communicate with an outside species, or amongst themselves. This has been a long-held belief of amateur researchers, and has been witnessed time and time again by abductees, and the accounts they detailed during their encounters. Claims of supposed instances of telepathy can vary from different detailed images in their mind that appear to be symbols, mathematical expressions, complex images, hearing a voice inside their head, and even being unable to discern their own thoughts with the thoughts being planted inside their minds. Physicists and scientists have recently announced that due to there being billions of planets in the Milky Way galaxy, and due to there being billions of galaxies, the likelihood of extraterrestrial life being out there is high, and this can be backed up with mysterious signals, and exoplanets that's been discovered every year. Given the scientific evidence and developments of the human brain, is there a way to explain whether advanced life forms may be reading our minds? Before we continue further, it's important to note that there is evidence in scientific endeavours in the realm of neuroscience, and the ability to translate the neurons near the random electrical impulse firings into readable information that can be displayed or understood. In fact, back in 1999, there was a research study by Dan Yang at the University of Berkeley, California, that successfully recreated what a cat observes in the physical world, using pure data retrieved from visual neurons. So how can we retrieve data from neurons, and how does this help us? Though many might not believe it, and still regard such scientists as within the realm of supernatural, this is hardly the case. Using an EEG machine, one can gather information from the brain using a differential amplifier, which merely works to gather data from two electrical inputs, and measures the differences compared against each other in electrical occurrence, and shows that data as an output. That means that data can be retrieved from the brain by merely detecting the electrical impulses through the scalp of a human being, and comparing it to other regions of the brain as a whole. The implications of this finding means that if someone could create a technology so sensitive and accurate in picking up electromagnetic fields or electrical stimuli, one could remotely detect these occurrences coming from the human brain and work to gather the data required to translate your thoughts and brain signals into readable information. But that does not help to explain the strange phenomenon that occurs in supposed alien contacts via telepathic communications if such a device is used, then how is it that humans, when exposed to extraterrestrial life, have the ability to communicate telepathically back to said alien contacts? And why is there no mention of the appearance of such a device? It could very well be that the alleged extraterrestrials evolved this ability to communicate telepathically through natural means in their evolutionary pathways. All life will evolve some ability and means to communicate with their own kin and not all methods include vocalizations like human communications. Some forms of life use smells, physical contact, body language and so on. So is it within the realm of impossibility for telepathic communication to have occurred for intellectually advanced forms of life? Let us treat this as a thought experiment. As you advance technologically, war and technologies could become incredibly dangerous and lead to self-annihilation if these routes continue, and a lasting peace cannot be established. However, a great way to avoid contact is to establish a means of open communication, and work to better understand the situation at hand. Have you ever tried to communicate a thought, but found words to be a terrible delivery method of translating emotions, personal experiences, observations and context, what if all life that develops methods of communications that are not able to more accurately represent their inner monologues also lose the ability to equally grow their intelligence as a species, or in this sense, annihilate themselves before becoming an intergalactic race? Could it be then that an intergalactic species would have to naturally form telepathic communications to prevent such catastrophes and be able to advance? 
Is there evidence of animals on Earth that might be able to evolve in this manner? If we take this theory of data retrieval from the brains of animals, via sensing electrical impulses and changes in the electromagnetic field, then there's evidence of evolution granting this ability amongst life here on Earth. Referred to as electroreception, is a sense that humans do not seem to possess, that gives animals the ability to perceive natural electrical stimuli in other life forms around them. Electroreception on Earth has only been seen to occur almost exclusively in aquatic life, or amphibious animals that spend their time in salt water, since salt water is a much better natural conductor compared to the surrounding air. This ability is so sensitive in fact, that young sharks can recognise the specific characteristics and traits of electrical stimuli among predators, and hide before the creatures even come within sight. Could this be evidence of life on our very own planet's naturally developing methods in evolution, that allow for non-verbal communication via electrical signals and readings through telepathy alone? Another interesting development in UFO and alien researches is the lack of verbal communication from extraterrestrial contacts. There are no reports of a screaming, screeching, yelling or vocalisation of any kind coming from supposed encounters. Could this be a statistical reference for their inability to communicate verbally, and only telepathically? Regardless of what you make of these encounters, it's interesting that those who've claimed to have been contacted or share this, saying that whatever they encountered, all of them noted that there was no speaking during the encounter. So what do you make of these interesting observations, and what do you make of those who have reported encountering alleged extraterrestrials? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.